Thank you. And thank you, National Nurses United. Don't cheer for me, cheer for yourselves. Because you guys are doing the important work that has to be done. You're developing the strong grassroots movement from California to Vermont, which is, in fact, going to change the national priorities of this country. So thank you for what you're doing. We're going to give, continue to give tax breaks to billionaires and cut programs for working people when we continue to have a situation where Capitol Hill is dominated by big money and lobbyists. We're going to change that system when tens of millions of Americans, led by the trade union movement, stand up and say, enough is enough, we want our country back. What is going on here now is totally obscene. The American middle class is collapsing. Poverty is increasing. The gap between the very, very rich and everybody else is growing wider. And our Republican friends say, yeah, let's cut programs for working families in the middle class. Let's give a trillion dollars in tax breaks to the top 2%. That is insane. John Nichols, one of the great writers in our country, already said it. But the challenge now is to create a set of priorities, an agenda which reflects the needs of ordinary people and not just the wealthy and the powerful. We are living in a nation today where the top 1% today who have seen a huge increase in their income now earn more money than the bottom 50%. We are living in a nation today, and this is even worse, and I want you to think about this. We're living in a nation today where the top 400 people, not a lot of people, own more wealth than the bottom 50% of America, 150 million Americans. And what these guys are doing, these big money people are doing with their wealth, and their ownership of the media, and their campaign contributions, and their lobbying is creating an agenda here which benefits only the people on top and really sticks it to ordinary people. And we've got to change that. We've got to change the priorities of the country. Now, on the issue of health care, let me say a word about health care, because I've been involved in this issue for many years, and you guys obviously are involved in this issue every single day. And let me just thank you. I think everybody knows that at the end of the day, you know, we got some great doctors out there, and we have all kinds of medical personnel who do a great job. But at the end of the day, from birth to death, the people who are at our sides when we get sick are the nurses. So thank you very much for what you're doing every day. And thank you for working as hard as you do. And thank you for going above and beyond what you do every single day. You work hard, but you understand that as American citizens, you've got to also, above what you're doing every day at work, you've got to be involved in the political process. And you're here today to say that you want a system, a healthcare system, which will enable you to do a better job than you're doing today for your patients. What you are saying today is that it is a national disgrace that the United States of America is the only country in the industrialized world which does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. What you are saying today is that there is something insane that at a time when we have 50 million Americans uninsured, we have millions more who are underinsured, that despite all of that, we are spending almost twice as much per person on health care as any other country on Earth. And many of those countries have better health care outcomes than we do. And what you are saying is, A, health care must be a right of all people. And let me tell you this. I know the struggle is hard. You've been in it, I've been in it. 
But the day is going to come when our kids and our grandchildren are going to look back at this moment in history and they're going to say, I don't believe it, Grandma. You're telling me that there were people in this great country who couldn't go to the doctor, went bankrupt when they went to the hospital because they were saying, I don't believe it. That's not what America was about. They're not going to believe it. But we are at that moment where we've got to push, we've got to continue to shove so that health care becomes a right. And what we also understand is that we are serious about providing quality health care to every man, woman, and child. If we are serious in doing it in a cost-effective way, if we are serious about saying that when we spend a dollar for health care, we don't want it to go to huge profits for private insurance companies, we don't want it to go to huge salaries for CEOs of insurance companies. We don't want it to go to huge administrative costs so that 30 cents of every health care dollar goes into administrative costs and profiteering. When we spend a dollar on health care, we want it to go to health care. That's what we want. Now, in my state of Vermont and all over this country, you got a very good single-payer health care system for senior citizens. It's called Medicare, and we're going to defend Medicare. Yeah. And in my state of Vermont, we have a very good single-payer system for our children. In Vermont, I know it's different names all over the country. In Vermont, it's called the Dr. Dinosaur Program, and that's the Children's Health Insurance Program. And I can tell you, because I've spoken to hundreds and hundreds of parents in the state of Vermont, they are proud of that program. They are grateful for that program. It works very, very well for their kids. So you got good children's health care. You got good senior health care. And now we got to make sure that that principle of single payer health care applies to all Americans. In the state of Vermont, as you have heard, we are making progress. We still have a long way to go. But I hope that with your help, the state of Vermont will lead this country out of the wilderness of our current health care system. That in the state of Vermont, every man, woman, and child is going to have health care as a right. We're going to take the burden of excessive insurance costs off of our small business people, and we're going to run a cost-effective health care for all of our people called single payer. So we got a lot of work in front of us, in Vermont and all over this country. We're going to have to take on the private insurance companies who don't care about quality health care. Their main job in life is to make as much money as they possibly can. And we're going to have to take on the drug companies who love the current system because they're, a, they're able to charge our people the highest prices in the world for insurance companies. And we're going to become aggressive on primary health care so that when people get sick, there'll be a doctor and a dentist in their community that they can go to. So we've got a lot of work in front of us. But I am absolutely confident that with the strong support of your great organization, with the National Nurses Union and other health care advocates all over this country, the day is going to come when generations from now, people are going to look back on this moment and say thank you very much for all that you are doing in paving the way to make health care a right of all people, not just a privilege. Thank you all very much.